Okay, so welcome to my living hell. A guy who has a problem with tools and who cannot pass up a great deal. So, closing might be selling that. Have to get a lot of money for it. Hell of a nice lathe. The hardware. This was a Home Depot which was moving its location. Got this for less than a dollar a box. I mean, how do you pass that up? Less than a dollar a box. And this is not even half of what's around. So I'm thinking of selling that closing. Uh, this South Bend is a piece of artwork. Uh, I think I'm going to let that go as well because it deserves a better home than what I can give it at the moment. Um, that Jet Press, another, another thing looking for a new home. Uh, so that stuff is for sale. Pitbull Motors, Google it, find it. If you're interested, let me know. Just don't comment, pick up the phone, find me. You can do that. Uh, actually just sold the South Bend 9-inch, $1,500. This thing is beautiful, mint. I have the same exact one for sale. I'll let this go for 1000 because it's just not as clean as that one. Um, so I'm here after hours trying to tighten up ship. And uh, <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. But here's something the school donated to me. Uh, but the reality is, it's it's not going to be something uh, I can use at the moment. So I think I'm going to have to give this one up to a new home. So, uh, taper attachment, 13-inch swing. Um, yeah, it's a runner. So, that's going to be going up. I'll probably let that thing go for $1,500, which I think is a steal. Um, my tools are very much in disarray, as I've been using some of them, believe it or not. And I'm waiting on some new drawers from Snap-on to get my cart going. So I, I, I refuse to put anything away. Uh, this is the smaller of the two toolboxes I have. My other box is at the other location. It's a 16-foot wide Matco white black trim stainless tops. Um, do, 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 do. Just got my bike cleaned, looking good, both of them. Well, two of them. Uh, this was gonna get tossed, but you know what? I bought a couple of cans of spray paint, and this is gonna be great for end mills, drill bits, taps, etc. cetera. Um, Kick-ass trailer I just scored. I have one like it for sale. If anybody's interested, that must go as well. It's six by 14. This one is not for sale. I just built that back door with a custom hinge which works like a champ, and I can still use the ramps. And of course, who could pass up the Harbor Freight 12,000 pound, <laughs> 12,000, really, the reason I put the 12,000, I know everyone's laughing that there's a 12,000 pound winch on this trailer, but the fact is I needed weight up front, as you can tell, and it's still not enough to keep the bow down. So now I have to make a big heavy duty toolbox and add a battery as well. Uh, Supermax, I hate to give it up, but it's time. I have, uh, I have recently sold a monster that was over here, and I picked up this bridge port, so I'm gonna redo the bridge port, and I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna sell off the Supermax. Uh, back here, it's a mess, I know, but nothing's a go here, everything's a keeper. Everything's a keeper back here. Do, 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 do. Let's see what else we got here. I know, I'm rambling. God help you to sit through this crap. Do all. Love it. Love it. Best tool. Uh, between the, the Powermatic drill press that was getting thrown in a dumpster, uh, along with this belt sander, Delta belt sander, and disc combination, uh, they both get thrown in the garbage. These three tools, I gotta say, I use the most. Period. These three. Um, I finally fit the dual wall in where I had a rock wall, 11 inch rock wall. Um, I like this dual wall. I really, really like it. Smooth machine. Um, you know, when the shop gets set up, it's going to be, going to be up and running. Here's my honey, my South Bend that I have every single stinking doodad and then some that South Bend has ever made. And, and forgive the mess. I just did an estate buyout from a basement and everything came in in one load and the place is a mess absolute mess and i know it that's why i'm here cleaning up so anyway this is my 10k and like i had said i have everything to go with this lathe um come on dog it's not me it's you
Uh, this honey I picked up. Uh, have it on eBay right now for 2800 opening bid. And it has every trinket, you know, $450 steady rest, $300 collet, collet rack and draw bar holder. Um, the draw bar alone, I sold one like this for like 200 and change. So the reality is there's $1,800 worth of extras going with this lathe. So for 2800 someone's getting a steal because it's been in a basement for 40 years and it is in pretty mint condition when you look past the paint. Um, this is what I've whittled the mess down to. Imagine 10 of these tables. <laughs> That's what was here. So I have a problem with keeping stuff. Yes, I know. Call me a hoarder. I do not care. Um, of course, the boat's on hold right now because of this crap. I have to put this all together and that all together and everything else all together and I just don't have the time. So anyway, ooh, back here is a little honey tool shop and a 1958 JS Tools. I think this thing is cool as hell. Cast iron base, heavy as, heavy as anything. Anyway, look at this. Power operated bender. Never saw one till then and I had a manual operated one, manually operated one and uh, I ended up keeping this because it works like a champ. It's great. You don't even have to bolt the thing to the ground. Um, I have a kiln. Uh, crazy big fan. Other stuff, other stuff. You know, my, my deal is I am sick of living on Long Island. Uh, it's a beautiful place and I love being here. It's just the money is absurd. Just not worth being here any longer. Ten Smith, and I don't know if you notice, I have a cleat bender. Blah, 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 blah. So the dream is to one day maybe move up to the Amish country and uh, see if the Amish would get involved with me because they're the last group of people, uh, I think, that use their hands other than day laborers who don't do much of thinking around here, uh, but they work hard. Um, you know, I need thinkers and hard workers at the same time. And I'd love to open a machine shop in a barn and start doing something, maybe build custom cars out of it. You know, time and money, you can do anything. Here's my bowl of a surface grinder, ultra rare. I've never seen one before. I almost sold it, thank God I didn't, because I love it. Now, check this out. The Atlas Horizontal Mill. Not only does it have just about every attachment, and yes, that is a Marvin Vertical. Only one I've ever seen, ever. And I look in eBay every night for it. Um, this, I don't even know what it is. Neither does my friend Tony, the Atlas Nut. He doesn't even know what this is. Some kind of fixture for drilling and so, so forth. If anybody knows, please comment. Now, check this out. I got this and that, that 10, that heavy 10 from one guy. He made this variable speed head, which is just kick ass. I mean, it's not powered up, but it works like a champ. Variable speed vertical attachment which he mounted up with a couple of brackets and and a, and a, and a milling attachment i mean just, this is just the coolest thing and it works well very well it's very much more rigid than it looks so anyway this is my atlas well that's my old one which is for sale right now on ebay well right now meaning when this video is made Here's my closing, which, I, I mean, how great of a machine is that? Jesus, I love that machine. My horizontal. And here's my 8520 vertical, which I'm going to complete. I'm going to complete it's just, you know, in the middle of life right now. Very difficult to do what I do and get things done. Anyway, here's an Atlas Shaper. Pretty kick-ass. Has the vice. Cool tool. You can pick these things up for about a thousand bucks now. I think that's great. I think it's outstanding. These things are off the charts. I want two grand for the one on the floor just because it's in such mint condition. But I have pretty much everything I'll ever need with this machine. And like I said, the dream is to get the hell off the island and move somewhere that's affordable with a farm and a barn and go ahead and just tinker all day long. So anyway, let's see what we got in here. These doodads are for sale. This is the eBay room. I know it's a mess. You know, if anybody's seen my videos before, they know I keep a tight ship. But right now, we're busy. Things are going on. Real quick, real quick rundown. I mean, everything and anything tooling is has been stowed away. Every machine I bought 
I pillaged it. I took all the pieces and I stored them. Uh, all the attachments, all the bits. I forget pieces. Not a good word. Uh, collets, you name it, I have it. Again, I'm a hobby machinist. Make fun of me. I don't give a rat's ass. Everybody knows more than I do. I don't care. I don't claim to know anything about machine work. But you know what? When I'm left alone, I get it done. I get it done. Um, yeah, so check out that box. How kick-ass is that? Now, <laughs> yeah, I know. I got a snap-on box. You can tell I'm a half-assed machinist and a mechanic at the same time. But I have, I have so much crap that I have stowed away. I probably have 20 times this in, in drill bits. Um, blah, blah, blah. This I found in a scrap pile, like these two drawers. Somebody threw them in the scrap pile at the uh, scrap place. So I scored those for nothing, and most of that stuff was with it. The machinist, I get, guess, got sick of business. And got two of these, one's for sale on eBay right now. Two more tool post grinder. So I actually have three of them. One's bigger than the others, so that's why I keep it. This, I'm afraid to... Oh, shit. I knew I shouldn't have opened it. All right. Is what it is. Snap on. Pay me. Fix it. Give me that, that rail. Um, I sold a bunch of chucks, and I have a bunch of chucks, and I'm afraid to open any any more. Oh, look at this cutie. Look at that little thing. It's adorable. Um, I don't want to open them anymore because it'll blow. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. I'm trying to go through this quick. Boring bars. Yeah, you think I'll ever have to buy a cutting tool as long as I live? I doubt it. And that's just just some, just some of what I have. Uh, and, you know, the beautiful thing about all, I did that already. The beautiful thing about all of this stuff is that when you look at what I started a year ago, I did this a year ago collecting. I just started. I had no machines a year ago. I had none of this a year ago. What I had done was I bought and sold enough machinery and kept enough stuff behind where all of this stuff owes me nothing. That's right, boys and girls. Check out that big badass. <laughs> That's right. I'm into this crap for zero dollars. For zero dollars for being in the right place. I got enough tool. <laughs> Amazing. Um, what happened was I, I was in the right place at the right time. A few different times uh, I made some moves I did some hustling and I uh, bought and sold enough machines where all of my machines that you're looking at you know all the actual machinery and the equipment is free it owes me nothing so all of this stuff is profit so in the last year I've hustled enough tooling and I picked these things up at such reasonable rates that they owe me nothing and I also have a Rockwell horizontal vertical mill getting restored as we speak. This Kennedy box, I love it. I picked up the bottom the next day on eBay. What popped up? The top, or vice versa. Actually, flea market, eBay. Big score, big, big score. Look at this. What the hell will I ever use that for? But anyway, the deal is I picked up all this crap because I love it. I saved some of it from, from getting tossed. And, uh, oh, this is the on-sorted drawer. Yeah, we got a few of those pipe-bending stuff. And the whole deal is hustle my properties, get a big ball of money, move off of Long Island, somewhere where there's property, get myself about five acres, and, and have a big barn and a farm. That's the deal. That's where I want to go. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to be. So when I grow up, I want out of here. I'm tired of being held hostage to the bills on Long Island. It's utterly ridiculous what it costs for people to live here, especially myself. Government sticks its hand up my ass every day for money, and I'm done with it. So anyway, look, I hope you enjoyed the bullshit. Those things that are for sale, if you're interested, contact me. And, uh, yeah, it's time uh, the dog and I go to work. Right? Really? Good dog. She just thinks I have food. That's all.